We watched AEW Dynamite August, uh, what would it be? August 9th, 2023. A weird show. A very weird show. It opened with a talking segment, which Dynamite almost never does. The Jericho Appreciation Society is already in the ring. They call out Jericho, the only one who gets an entrance. Also, the only one not wearing all black. Everyone else is wearing black. He is wearing a crimson suit. Sammy, by the way, wearing an inner circle vest. Calling back to the how, to showing how long he's been with Chris Jericho. So Jericho begins to say that he is out there as a friend, but he is immediately cut off by Daniel Garcia, who says he, he, he needs to stop talking and listen to them. I changed who I am, he says. I turned my back on my friends and my heroes to choose you. So why do you never choose us? I can't do this anymore. And he throws down the mic. He does his dance in Chris Jericho's face, and he storms out. Jake Hager is not surprised. Does come to all this? If we cut ties, he says, we have a lot of options. I liked that hat, but I do not appreciate Chris Jericho. And he bails. So Jericho's left there with uh, Ty Conti and Anna J and the former 2.0. He reminds all of them that they are, without question, bigger stars now than they were when they joined. Ty says, that may be true, but I am no longer proud to be in a group with you. I feel sick. It's not because of the baby. I'm going to go have a baby and come back and be a champion without you or your help because I quit. And Anna Jay says, she is being selfish tonight and she learned from the best. Tonight is about winning that championship, not appreciating you. And she and Ty leave together. Cool Hand Ant explains he doesn't want to do this. He loves being a sports entertainer. I gave you my blood hanging upside down from a double cage in a fight you picked. I've given you everything I can, but what have you given me? I don't want to do this, but I've got nothing left to give you. And he walks out. Daddy Magic says Jericho is his childhood hero, 15 years old. He got his first paycheck from his very first job. He bought a Chris Jericho t-shirt. Then, when he had no job and his wife was eight months pregnant, Jericho invited him into his home and brought him to All Elite Wrestling. The last 18 months, which I guess that's accurate, but it seems like a long, way longer than I would have guessed this, this, this group had been together, have been nothing but a dream, but it has never sat right with me by guys like Eddie Kingston and Kevin Steen hate your guts. And now I understand why. He leaves. The only one there is Sammy Guevara. Jericho starts to talk. Sammy slaps the mic out of his hand. I went from challenging for the world title to fighting all of your battles. I am loyal, and I'm not going to walk out on you. But I always thought you would do those things for me. You've got things to work out. And if you do, maybe I'll be here. And he leaves, but he leaves through the crowd. He's not going for the ramp like everyone else did. And Jericho is left alone with his thoughts. Yeah, and of course that led to the next segment, which is after commercial, he's backstage, and that absolutely disgusting creep. What a leech. Don Callis walks up, and of course his first line is, man, if I played any role in this, I'm sorry. (laughs) And Jericho says, it's fine. It's happened. You know what? I made up my mind. I got an answer for you. Let's announce it next week, and Don is over the moon. Oh. Man, brother, I'll take care of everything. I'll Off take, he goes. With glee, I'll take care of everything, he shouts, and he scampers away. I don't know where it's going, but when I watch this, to me, what seems patently obvious is Jericho's going to tell him to fuck off. Yes. And, you know, I don't know if, you know, Don's going to have someone to beat his ass or whatever, and the, some of the Jericho Appreciation Society comes back to make the save, or... I, I don't anticipate any of this even close to being concluded uh, next week, but it seems like what's going on here is, you know, Jericho's heading towards that babyface turn, mm-hmm. and it's time, you know, and uh, how that plays into the rest of the Jericho Appreciation Society, I guess we'll see. To be determined. Maybe it will still be the Jericho Appreciation Society, but he will appreciate them. <laughs> and us. That's the viewer. <laughs> the Jericho appreciates his society. Yes. You know, I heard some people didn't like this, but I thought it was just simple, mm-hmm. basic, old school, classic storytelling. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a guy who's manipulating Jericho. And, uh, you know, is Jericho fully going for it? We don't know. But, you know, he's torn. Known this guy forever. You know, bad news looking down from heaven. For fuck's sake. Yeah. And uh, his other his other buddies are, you know, I don't know if jealous is the right word, 
but you Disappointed. know they think that he's made a, a call yes which actually he has not made yet mm-hmm. in some ways he's he's somewhat being falsely accused they've all bailed on him and it's leading to him seeing the light the error of his ways perhaps i don't know if i would have opened the show with it but for what it was it was fine Everyone had enough time to talk that they made their point, but it, never, it didn't drag. It didn't just go on forever. It was only a 20-minute promo. It was a 7-minute or 8-minute promo, whatever it was. You have FTR calling out the Bucks for All In from uh, Collision. Young Bucks versus Hardy Boys. My favorite part of this match was when the uh, Bucks hit a 3D, and for about 20 seconds, the announcers were not sure if they were legally allowed to use the term 3D <laughs> because of... Wrestling copyrights and whatnot. Finally, they figured they could. It's a move. What the hell? And uh, this is the best Hardys match in forever. It looks a little slower from their peak. It is 2023. It's not 2003. But everything looked fine. They hit all their stuff. No one got blown up. No one got hurt. And uh, when they hit their twist of fate and stunner in the senton, the place is just going absolutely nuts. And uh, they were running wild again. Jeff runs up up top. And uh, Matt super kicks his ankle, so Jeff takes a big ass bump to the, the mat, and they pin Matt with the BTE trigger. That was very good. You know, this is nothing against the Hardys, but this match does show you how great the Young Bucks are. And, you know, this was not like, I mean, they carried him, you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's no disrespect to the Hardys or anything like that. I mean, they're, they've been doing this a long, long time. We were watching Matt Hardy when we were reviewing 1994 Raw. Yeah. 1994 Raw. And, you know, they are older, and they don't move very fast at all. And, man, the first three, four minutes of this match, this was not looking like it was going to end well. The crowd really wasn't into it. It was very basic. And then they got going, and, man, Jeff Hardy, you know, he looked great. And he's certainly had his ups and downs, as we're all well aware of. But he was very good in this match. And overall, it ended up being a big success. thought it was a very good match. So the Bucks then, <laughs> they do the shortest uh, uh, by syllables used promo maybe ever. They say FTR. FTR comes out. They stare each other down. And then somebody just says, all in. And the crowd cheers. The match is on. <laughs> Five syllables to book this match. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.